Hey, let me introduce you to two really important anti-aging disease prevention nutrients. They're coenzyme Q10 and Hawthorne. Here's what you need to know about them. Up to age 45, your body makes all the coenzyme Q10 that it really needs. I mean, there's a decline after age 25, but at age 45, you really start making less and less. And so you say, well, what's the problem with that? Well, your body needs CoQ10 to convert food into energy. Now, that's a multi-step process, but one of the important steps is that CoQ10 is required. So as you make less CoQ10, there's like a power shortage that, de that develops in many of the cells of your body. And certain tissues are really susceptible to this, such as your heart muscle. So as you get older and you run out of CoQ10, the heart pump gets a little weaker and a little weaker and a little weaker. You don't notice that it's going on, but it sets the stage for congestive heart failure. It sets the stage for blood pressure to rise as well. The brain also needs CoQ10 for it to, to process information for you to keep thinking in a, at a more youthful level. And the immune system needs CoQ10 to stay intelligent and find cancer cells and kill them off. And we're now realizing that one of the problems in Parkinson's disease is that the brain can't make optimal amounts of CoQ, coenzyme Q10 the way it did when the person was younger. So clinical studies have shown that giving people CoQ10 at significant dosages can help to reverse congestive heart failure in many cases, bring, bring blood pressure down to normal in many cases, and also slow the progression of Parkinson's disease. But my point to you is this. Don't wait until you get congestive heart failure before you start putting CoQ10 in. We're all going to develop a deficiency over time that leads to heart problems and brain problems, immune problems, and so on. And so at age 45, you should start putting the CoQ10 back into your body that your body doesn't make for itself. Now, you should do that in conjunction with another nutrient known as Hawthorne. Hawthorne is an herb, but that herb works with CoQ10 to boost energy levels. Hawthorne in clinical studies has been shown to be very effective at reversing congestive heart failure and lowering high blood pressure and increasing blood flow through the coronary blood vessels. So before we knew about CoQ10, many civilizations actually use Hawthorne for this purpose because it works very well. What I really recommend that you do is that after the age of 45, you put into your body a combination supplement that contains 30 milligrams of CoQ10 and 37.5 milligrams of Hawthorne that's at a standardized grade. And when you get to be age 60, simply double the dose. That's the prevention dose. That's the dose for anti-aging. If you already have a significant health problem like high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, Parkinson's disease, then you're going to need to have doses that are more therapeutic. Now you can learn more about this subject at machinohealth.com where I have some literature available that explains the whole story.